Kiddushin Daf Yudalid, how's everybody doing? So we finished with the sugya of a woman, Hayyum a woman, and we're moving on to the end of the Mishnah discussing a Yavama. Yavama is a woman who was married to a person and they didn't have children, and the guy died, Nebuch. So she falls, Liyibam, she must marry her brother in law, either Duchalitz or Yibam, in order to create a new name for the brother who's deceased. How are you kind of this Yavama? Instead of being kind of a Kesef, Bishtar, it's only Bibiyah. How do we know this from the Pasuk Yavama Yavi Aleha? There's a double lush in here to teach us that it's only Bibia. From the extra hey Yavama Yavama Yavi Aleha, we learn that Yukaina Yavama Balkarcha against her will. When the Torah says Vinikra Shmai, we learn from there that everybody that's there, that's present at the Chalitza, says very loudly, Chalutza Nal, Chalutza Nal, Chalutza Nal. From the first time that it says Be Yisrael, we learn that once the Chalitza is performed, she's muta to marry anybody she wants. From the second Be Yisrael, we learn that it cannot be in front of a bezin of Geirim, meaning Gibam is different than everything else. Typically speaking, as long as a mother is Jewish, even if the father is not Jewish, the son can be a Dayan, not when it comes to Yibam. Even though it says by Chalitza the word Kacha, Kacha is very strong, it means Li'ikuva, it means it's essential for what the Torah says. Nevertheless, I would think that I could learn a Kavachimer against what it says in Pasuk, and I need the word Hanal to teach us that we should make a Kavachimer from a woman that a Yavama should go out with a Get. And we see the same exact idea by Yom Kippur. By Yom Kippur, we know on Yom Kippur the Kain Gadol makes a lottery to see which one of the two goats. You bring two goats that are identical, and one you bring as a chatas, and one you throw off a cliff. Which one is what? You make a lottery. You think that on Yom Kippur, the Kain Gadol could verbally decide that this one is a chatas, this one is a la'azazel. No. The Torah says chuka It has to be exactly like this. And I think that you could learn a Kavachimer that he could verbally change the designation of the carbon. Why would I think so? When the Torah says chuka it means it's essential. So you see from Yom Kippur that even though the Torah is very strong with its lashon, you can still have a Kavachimer to do away with it. So too by us, even though it says kacha, I would think that the Kavachimer does away with it. We learn from the word nal that the Yavam can use any person's shoe. It doesn't have to be his own shoe. And from the fact that the Torah says na'aloi with a vav, teaches us that if it's a shoe that's too large, that he can't walk comfortably with it, or it's too small, that doesn't cover most of, most of his foot, or it's a shoe without a sole, it's a no good. And now we move on to a brand new Mishnah. It says the Hilgen Mishnah. Ebed Ivri, a Jewish slave, is purchased and acquired with money. How do we know this? We learn Xerishav Shav a sachir, sachir, from a slave that's a nirza, that's a slave that wants to stay longer. They take his right ear, they put it on the door, and they poke a hole through it. According to the Manda Omar, that says that you don't learn Sochir Sochir from this Nirza, that is Nikna Bekesev, we learn it from Vichy Sasig. Vichy is a continuation from the parsha of a slave that's sold to a guy. Over there, you know, a guy can only purchase with money, so too all other slaves, Jewish slaves, are purchased with money. A Jewish slave is also purchased, Bishtar. And how does he acquire himself? In other words, if he worked off to six years, because you sell a slave for six years, or if Yavah comes earlier than the six years, or if you prorate the amount of money that he was purchased for, let's say you bought him for six years, for 600, and he only worked three years, if the slave give, gives back 300, he goes free. A Amma, a Jewish slave woman, has one extra way that she goes out, and that's when she becomes a Naira with Simonim, she goes out. A Nirza, a slave that's going to work longer than the six years because he, they poked a hole through his ears, he goes out, the Yavah, every 50 years we have a Yavah, or Misas Adain, the death of his master. Whereas a regular slave who's only working for six years, if his master dies, the Yershim inherit him. Now we have an unbelievable machlaikis here. The Tanakhama holds that if a slave sells himself, in other words, he wasn't forced to be sold through Bezdin because he stole and Bezdin had to sell him. He's, he decided on his own, he wants to sell himself. There's different halachas. First of all, you don't do Ritzia, he doesn't get his hole poked on the door. You don't have to give him the gifts that you give a regular Eved Ivri. You cannot give him a shifre knanis like you give a regular Eved Ivri that's sold by the Bezdin. In addition, he can sell himself to begin with for more than six years. If he decides that he wants to sell himself for 12 years, he can sell himself for 12 years. But Bezdin is limited to selling the Eved for only six years. Now, the Gemara says it could be he could have learned out from the Gzir Shavah Sacher. But these particular things have a meal, they have a limitation. It says in the Pasuk, and we learn from here that not somebody who sells himself. Raboisai, have a wonderful day.